about Heidelberg is we can tailor our solutions to your requirements. It's an open architecture platform and everything's modular. It's important because you have the FA, ICG, multicolor, um, and many, many other practices. Okay, so I can have that all in one machine? All in one machine. This is going to separate you from your competition in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And that can include imaging modalities that you need now. Yeah. If you don't need them, we don't include them. And if you need them in the future, we can add them. So you can continue to do your follow-up examinations uh, all on the same platform. It's an upgradable platform. That can grow along with your practice. And as time goes on, your technology will not be obsolete. We push a system in the NASA, NASA chose us. Okay. And now we have the first society in the space. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Because it has a dual beam eye tracking system and two beams of light, one maps the retina with 1500 points, yeah. one laser, and then the other does all the scanning. So even if your patient is moving around a lot, it doesn't worry us, it means you're still going to get very high quality images. The patient can blink, they don't need to be dilated. And now I want to show off the eye tracking. Now squeeze your eye shut all together. Just hold it shut, hold it shut, hold it shut, hold it shut. See how the instrument stopped actually taking images? When you open up your eyes again, it actually locks back on. So we have an automatic follow-up and it allows you to then reposition the scans exactly. Right. And you can see how it's adjusted the position of the OCT to match where it was previously. So with our live eye tracking system, we are able to measure uh, exactly the same piece of tissue from visit to visit. We're able to repeat scans within one micron. So it really allows us to detect much earlier the, uh, the changes actually in, uh, in the progression of the disease. The OCT image and the reference image are acquired simultaneously. The blood vessels here, where it crosses the OCT, are all unlocked. We have a simultaneous fundus image always correlated with an OCT. Because you'll actually see more structure, more pathology, and that'll allow you to make better treatment decisions. Again, you have confidence as a clinician that your camera is giving you reliable information. We have confocal optics. Uh, that gives you a really, uh, so as you can see right here, a really uh, good and uh, amazing image. You have a lot of advantage because you can see uh, some information about disease. We have essentially live image. Sharp, crisp, confocal imaging like you see here in the fundus. That uh, can uh, help you to detect exactly where you can uh, take the OCT image. get high resolution fundus images, no flash, no dilation. Within a second, I have a beautiful fundus image that gives you the diagnostic power to make smart clinical decisions. Better image with uh, no dilatation on uh, ah, okay. the flash and ah, okay. with the uh, cataract okay. opacity, okay. nystagmus. Color picture through an undilated pupil, that's good. Yeah. And the beauty is, you see this image is frozen here? The device takes this image, we use what we call the automated real-time tracking to actually take a single image here, we freeze it, then we take a hundred more images, compare it to the reference, and take out noise. So you want to have nice confidence in your in your diagnosis yeah. and this high resolution image I think helps yeah. you do that. So what we're able to do is actually segment out all the individual layers of the retina. You will definitely see that we can image from uh, the vitreous area uh -huh. until the choroid and okay. you see it perfectly. 
segment any of our images and we can check the individual layers.